What's going on guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to clean your intake manifold. Now then, this intake manifold right in front of me, it has been removed from a 2008 BMW 520D with the N47 engine. Now as you will see, it is completely filled with a carbon sooty mess and this needs to be removed and cleaned. Now it's pretty common for any modern diesel intake manifold to look like this. Basically the reason behind it is the EGR valve lets exhaust gases back through the intake. Couple that with the crankcase breather which puts oil vapors back through the intake and then you are left with this sooty oily mess. Now then, a lot of people say the best way to clean your intake manifold is to use something like an EGR and carb cleaner. Do not do this, you're going to end up spending a lot of money on a lot of these cans and you're not going to end up cleaning the worst of the crap out of your intake manifold. The best way to clean your intake manifold is to completely strip it down and get a pressure washer in every single port and in every little nook and cranny. Okay then, so first thing is first, I'm going to start stripping this intake manifold down. First thing I'm going to take off is this swivel flap actuator. It's just held on by three T30 bolts. Uh, this basically controls a rod which goes the length of the intake manifold and then it turns these swivel flaps. So let's get this off first and then we'll continue stripping the rest of it down. go that's that off as you can see it's just completely covered in this sooty oily gunk not very nice at all okay then so now is actually a good opportunity to show you how the swirl flaps work there's basically this lever and that opens and closes the swirl flaps like so but as you can see they're just completely caked and I just can't wait to clean this up Okay, so next thing we're going to remove is the anti shudder valve. It's just held in by three 5mm Allen bolts. So those three out should just pull off. We'll be quite stuck gasket there we are as you can see that's seen better days as well that's how that flap works yeah completely just covered that's that off and uh, next thing we need to remove is this pipe and this is held on by just two t20 screws Again, this will be very stuck. Oh, look at that. That is not nice. Now then, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the brackets. And then the final thing to do is just remove the gaskets. gasket just need to be very careful when we're removing the gaskets because I do want to use these again now in an ideal world I would just get new intake gaskets but because I don't actually have any and these are in pretty good shape they're not torn they're not squashed or anything I will be removing these I've all I have done this process before and I've reused the gaskets and they have been in good condition so I will be doing the same again obviously if any of them are torn then I will be replacing them you know it's not good to put a, uh, a torn gasket back on 
So uh, I think I'll get a screwdriver in and remove these intake gaskets. Go. And as we can see, apart from them being very, very dirty, they are actually in very good condition. No tears, not even squashed or anything. So, yeah, I will be reusing these. Let's just get the other three off. Okay, then, so that is all of the gaskets removed. So, we have the four intake gaskets for the intake ports and then we have one for the anti shudder valve all right then so this is the intake manifold stripped down as far as we can go and for those that might be wondering no these bolts do not come out all the way that's why they're still in place but yeah that's the intake manifold stripped down as far as we can go it's now time to start cleaning this thing okay so first thing I'm going to do is actually remove any huge clunks of carbon that I can see that I can remove with a screwdriver. This is not going to be the main method of cleaning, but I'm just going to get any big chunks out like that just to make this process a little bit cleaner. I'm just going to scrape the inside of the ports and this will kind of show you what you can expect to see in your intake manifold as well as you can see just filthy okay then so I've been at the intake manifold for a couple of minutes now with a screwdriver and as you can see this is what I have removed and it's honestly just like a thick oily tar like mess and yeah it's not very nice stuff and this is actually nowhere near half of the stuff that's inside the intake manifold itself but now it is time for the proper cleaning and we will be heading outside for this okay then, so first thing i'm going to do is actually spray the entire inside of this with some degreaser now this is nothing fancy it's honestly just uh, dish soap with uh, warm water i'm just gonna spray the inside of this and as it's a degreaser and we have the intake manifold just covered in oil it should work quite well and uh, yeah we'll just spray the entirety of this and leave it to soak for about 10 minutes or so Okay then, so now that the intake manifold has been soaking in degrease for about 10 minutes, it's now time to get the pressure washer on it and clean the entire thing out. Okay then, so after around half an hour of degreasing and cleaning the intake manifold, it's actually pretty clean now. So I'm not too sure how well you can see that, but you can actually see the swirl flaps pretty well. They're not completely covered in carbon anymore. Obviously there is light traces of carbon throughout the intake manifold. It's going to be pretty impossible to clean that out unless you acid bath it but in terms of general cleaning this is uh, very good you know i'm very pleased with it and this is what the uh, egr pipe looks like i believe this is where the exhaust gases enter through into the intake manifold or sorry it'd be that way around so they enter this way 
and into the intake manifold through there and uh, as you can see this looks um, a lot better than what it was i will obviously be um cleaning it you know a bit um you know a bit better cosmetically before i put it back onto the engine um but you know in terms of removing the carbon and everything doing a pretty good job with that and uh, then the uh, swirl flap actuator that goes on the end of the uh, intake manifold obviously a lot cleaner and then we have the anti shudder valve and as you can see a whole lot cleaner you can actually see the uh, plate now the butterfly valve and uh, yeah so i um, pretty pleased with that as you can see you do not need any fancy equipment you do not need to waste uh, loads of money on carb cleaner simply just use a uh, degreaser like you know dish soap or washing up liquid and uh, then just give it a good wash out with a uh, high pressure um, pressure washer and um, then these are the results that you can expect to see and as you can see i am pretty covered in this oily sooty carbon mess and i will need a shower now but i want to thank you guys for watching so please give this video a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already done so and i'll see you in that next video peace